Wake up, kids. The Tuesday Newsday Fairy visited last night. Wow, look at all this news. And all it cost us was all of our teeth? I think the Tuesday Newsday Fairy is confused. And so am I. I'm your host, Andrew, and yeah, we have news on a Tuesday. First up, Elon Musk's glowing endorsements of Dogecoin may have seemed like a distant memory. But on Monday, Twitter randomly changed its logo to the meme coin's beloved mascot. As you'd expect, as with whenever Papa Elon talks about it, Doge rallied dramatically on the news. It's unclear why the social network decided to go for the change, but it may have something to do with the billionaire attempting to get a $258 billion lawsuit thrown out of court. Previously, Musk had heavily endorsed Doge in 2020 and 2021, with the altcoin spiking in line with his posts. It surged by 18,500% in the first 10 weeks of 2021, rallying from five thousandths of a cent to a jaw-dropping 74 cents. Seeking for the lawsuit to be dismissed, Musk said his tweets were innocuous, silly, and didn't amount to anything unlawful. The U.S. has seized $112 million from crypto criminals, mostly generated as a result of pig butchering scams. This refers to the devastating process of building long-term relationships with victims and encouraging them to make investments in crypto trading platforms. Officials say the fraud cases are vicious, tearing families apart and depriving people of their life savings. The funds recovered are set to be swiftly returned to the victims. Assistant Attorney General Kenneth Polite says Americans need to be wary of people they meet online and seriously question investment advice, especially about cryptocurrency. Crucially, he wants people to remember that investments that seem too good to be true usually are. Binance's CEO has said that a picture that appears to show an Interpol red notice calling for his arrest is fake and photoshopped. The account that tweeted the image now no longer exists. Chang Peng Zhao, CZ, says that the doctored picture was likely planted or sponsored by another exchange, hurting the industry and themselves. He added, There are enough external forces attacking us. Our industry needs to unite at this juncture. Binance's chief strategy officer, Patrick Hillman, says the public panic created by the picture was simply a destructive rumor or an illicit market manipulation strategy. And if it had been true, very senior figures in law enforcement would be guilty of multiple felonies. Reminder, Binance is the parent company of CoinMarketCap. And finally, one of the world's biggest NFT brands is releasing exclusive jewelry with the help of a luxury designer house. Yuga Labs has unveiled Other Side, Relics by Gucci. And 3,333 codependents will go on sale this Thursday. Each piece will consist of a real-world item alongside an additional NFT that unlocks exclusive perks in the metaverse. You have to own a coda or vessel NFT in order to be eligible for a purchase, by the way. Each physical pendant will be inscribed with GG, meaning good game, and will be accompanied by a unique number to prove its authenticity. Last year, Tiffany & Co. helped create NF TIFFs, which entitled collectors to a bejeweled physical pendant on their CryptoPunk. Uh, they sold out in just 20 minutes. And here's something that you can do that doesn't even take 20 seconds. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And what did you think about today's episode? Well, just let us know in those comments below because I read them and I take feedback very, very seriously. Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Take the plunge and ask Alex in that description below. Alex is always a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse, and that about does it for today. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see all of your beautiful, shining faces tomorrow.